Dear Cowboys, I do not hope this letter finds you well. <laughs> I hope it stings, actually. <laughs> About as much as it stung to watch you fall short in the playoffs once again. <laughs> the ups and downs are a natural part of sports. But the way that you'll continue to end up being losers at the end of the season, every season should be studied. If only the goal were to lose, you'd be gloats. The gloats. <laughs> <laughs> there I was, an eight-year-old kid, excited, full of life, and stupid. <laughs> My dad walked in wearing a blue and white jersey and turned on the television, said, son, come watch the Cowboys game with me. And that was the moment I should have walked away from my dad and never spoke to him again. <laughs> I didn't. We bonded and have shared that bond for over 30 years now. It pains me to know that although my dad claims he loves me, he wanted this for my life. <laughs> it has been 30 years since the five-time champion Dallas Cowboys have tasted true victory. 30 years. Do y'all know what people have been able to accomplish in 30 years? <laughs> Let's see. The internet. <laughs> <laughs> and the Dallas Cowboys can't find a win a damn football game when it matters. <laughs> Although you have saved me a lot of money by never forcing me to attend a Super Bowl, <laughs> it still hurts. <laughs> when I think about the fact that I have attended at least one game every year for over 10 years. Every season with the Dallas Cowboys feels like a repeating Linkin Park song <laughs> because they tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> this decision is not a reflection of any particular event or disappointment, just the natural evolution of my interest. I am done. Yeah. yeah. Until week one of next year. <laughs> <laughs> I know how this goes. The Burt Show.